What's up YouTube, it's your boy Rhett, back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna to talk about multi-sig and the two biggest companies in the Bitcoin multi-sig space, Casa and Unchained Capital. If you watch until the end of the video, I'm gonna be explaining multi-sig, showing you the pros and cons of each service, doing a comparison between the two, and then letting you know which of these two services I'm gonna be going with for my multi-sig setup. So smash the like button down below for Bitcoin security and let's get started. <laughs> So the basic idea of Bitcoin multi-sig is to add redundancy into your Bitcoin storage setup. Once you set up Bitcoin multi-sig, you're gonna have to sign transactions with multiple hardware wallet keys. This is gonna make sending transactions a little bit more annoying than it was before, because instead of just signing the transaction with one hardware wallet, you're gonna have to sign it with multiple hardware wallets or mobile wallets or wherever you're keeping your funds. However, in exchange for it being a little bit more annoying to send those transactions through, you now don't have to worry about losing the keys to any one wallet. If you set up a two of three multi-sig, you only need two of those three keys. If you lost that third key, it doesn't really matter. Similarly, if you set up a three of five scheme, you're only going to need three of those five keys to sign any transaction. And so you actually can't lose any of your funds as long as you have three of those five keys. So you're basically giving up the convenience of being able to sign transactions with one wallet for the peace of mind and redundancy that if you do lose any one of those three or five wallets, that you only need the quorum to sign those transactions. So now that you have a basic understanding understanding of multi-sig, let's check out what services CASA is offering and compare them to the services that Unchained Capital is offering. And so then hopefully you can make a more informed decision about which service you're gonna go with. So let's start off with CASA. CASA is sort of the premium multi-sig experience. CASA has a dedicated support team and a really excellent, easy to use mobile app. They also have different pricing tiers that they recommend for securing different amounts of Bitcoin. They have a totally free tier that's really easy to use. And it's basically just a mobile app wallet that you can use on iPhone or Android and your key gets encrypted and backed up to either iCloud or Google Drive or Dropbox or wherever you wanna put it. And this mobile wallet is really great for small amounts of Bitcoin. Next, they have a gold tier that's about $120 a year. And they suggest this tier for people holding up to $75,000 of Bitcoin. This is a two of three multi-sig scheme where you're holding that one mobile wallet that we just talked about. You're holding one hardware wallet. And then the third key is actually held by CASA for emergencies in case they ever have to sign a transaction for you because you've lost your phone or you've lost lost your hardware wallet. And they've also included an option where you can actually swap out the mobile key for a second hardware key, which I think is a little bit safer. And if I was going to go with this gold tier, that's what I would do. I would use two hardware wallets and then that third key held by Casa instead of using the mobile wallet, the hardware key, and then the Casa key. Next, they have a platinum tier that they recommend for anyone holding between $75,000 and $500,000 in Bitcoin. And this tier is going to run you about $1,800 per year. So it's a lot more expensive than the gold tier was. With the platinum tier, you're upgrading to a three of five multi-sig, so it's a little bit more secure, and you have more flexibility in what the wallet configurations can be here. You could hold four hardware wallets and then the Casa key, or you could hold three hardware wallets, the Casa key, and your mobile wallet. Really have a lot of flexibility with this three of five setup. The big security benefit to this platinum tier is that you get video verification for sensitive account actions. We'll talk about this a little more later on in the Unchained Capital section and then in the comparison. You also get some help onboarding to Casa, and they'll send you a ledger and a Trezor hardware wallet just to help you get set up on this three of five scheme in case you don't have that many wallets to set it up yourself. And then finally, for $5,000 a year, there's the Casa Diamond tier, which they recommend for over $200,000 of holdings. So the Diamond tier sort of overlaps a little bit with the Platinum tier. So you're kind of making a game time decision about do you want those extra features with the Diamond tier? Or are you happy with the features from the Platinum tier? So the extra features that do come with the Diamond tier are you're getting your own private client advisor from Casa. You're getting help with estate planning. You're getting an optional sixth key for a three of six multi-sig. They're giving you access to purchase large amounts of Bitcoin, which I assume is in some over-the-counter trading desk situation that they've set up. They allow you to add multiple holders of the keys to your account. So you can sort of have a distributed sort of team ownership situation going on. And then finally, they'll send you four hardware wallets if you're choosing anything from Trezor, Ledger, or Cold Card. And then they'll even send you metal plates where you can back up your seed phrases. So this is a very wide range of services from Casa. Next, let's take a look at what Unchained Capital is offering. Unchained Capital offering a very similar multi-sig setup where you control most of the keys. Additionally, Unchained Capital is giving you access to managed services, including lending, where you'll lend out your Bitcoin and earn interest on however long you've lent it out for, basically. They're giving you a dedicated multi-sig address, 100% cold storage with the key that they hold. And they're offering something that's really cool, that video verification service. They're actually offering you that for free upfront. Like we talked about before, that video verification service, I think is actually really important. And it makes me a lot more comfortable 
giving a service one of my private keys because I know that they're only going to be able to execute on that private key if they're receiving a video basically from me saying that, yeah, this is me, execute the transaction, please. The idea here being that, yeah, it is a big pain in the ass to send them a video of you asking them to execute this transaction, but it also protects you from a lot of these phishing attempts that end up totally wrecking people in situations like SIM swapping attacks. Bad actors will basically socially manipulate the customer service representative on the other end of the phone. In a SIM swap attack, you could think about a customer service representative from Verizon or AT&T. And in that situation, they would basically say like, hey, I'm the wife of Rhett and I need you to duplicate his phone onto this SIM because he's out of the country and I really need it. And that's not gonna work on 99% of customer service representatives, but the phishing attacker actually only needs it to work on one person. So they could try a thousand times. And if they get that 1% of customer service representatives that is willing to swap your SIM, then they've successfully hijacked your stuff. This is extra scary in these managed services, Bitcoin multi-sig situations, because it's not that they're stealing your phone, it's that they're stealing all of your Bitcoin, basically. That's why, in my opinion, this video verification stuff is actually really, really important. Because if you're already holding two hardware wallets, and then you give away a key to one of these companies, and they can basically have that key fished away from them, you've basically ruined the security of what you already had, right? You had two hardware wallets where maybe half the funds were in each one. Now you have a two of three, all the funds are there, and someone only needs to steal one of your hardware wallets to get all of the money if they've successfully fished Unchained Capital or Casa. So Unchained Capital is giving you that video verification for free, which in my opinion, really, really cool. And just like Casa, Unchained Capital is compatible with Cold Card and Ledger and Trezor. So no matter what your hardware wallet solution is, they should have something there for you. In their client controlled model, you're getting a two of three multi-sig where they control one of those keys and then you control two of those hardware wallet keys. And the really great part about Unchained Capital here, there is no annual fee and there is no setup fee for setting up this two of three multi-sig. The way that they do make money is they charge a $20 fee for individuals and a $125 fee whenever you require that Unchained Capital key to sign your transaction. So if you did lose one of your hardware wallets and you now need Unchained Capital's key to sign a transaction, you would take your hardware wallet and their key that they're holding for you, sign the transaction, and then you would owe them $20. But keep in mind, if you keep your two hardware wallets safe, you should basically never need to pay for this fee to use that Unchained Capital key. If you keep your two hardware wallets, you should be able to sign all of your transactions with those two hardware wallets, and this entire service will be totally free to you. Lending on the platform works in a really similar way. You control one of the keys, the person that you're lending to controls one of the keys, and then Unchained Capital acts as a mediator and controls the third key. And so basically, even if you and the person that you're lending to disagree with each other, Unchained Capital can be there to mediate that dispute or mediate that transaction and then side with the person who either wants their funds back because the loan is under collateralized or whatever, or something like that. I believe that all these loans are over collateralized, so you should never really run into trouble like that, but that's just generally how their lending platform works. And obviously you shouldn't take my word for it. You should totally investigate the terms of your loan before you sign up for something like that and make sure that you're comfortable with the terms before you create a loan like this. All right, so next I'm gonna do my best to simplify both of these offerings between Casa and Unchained Capital and basically help you and myself make a decision on which service to go with. The big three things that I care about in the order that I care about them are first, safety, second, cost, and then third, the services that are being offered and how easy those services are to use. So first, let's take a look at safety. Both of these platforms seem very robust and are led by teams of Bitcoin security experts who genuinely seem to have your best interest of keeping sovereignty over your Bitcoin as their first priorities. And I think what shows that the most is both of these companies, Casa and Unchained Capital, have plans for if Casa or if Unchained Capital went completely out of business, how you could continue to use the multi-sig setup that they had helped you with. This is great because to me, it shows that these companies are not just in business to make money, but that they are really in business to help you better secure your Bitcoin for the long term. So the safety upsides to Unchained Capital first. You get that video verification service totally for free. And like I talked about earlier, I think that's a really big perk to have. You're not gonna get that video verification service from Casa until you shelled out $1,800 a year for that platinum plan. And then I think the safety upsides to Casa are that you can do more than two of three multi-sig, right? So if you do go to that platinum plan, you're gonna get that three of five multi-sig, which obviously creates more redundancy in your overall setup. Right now on Unchained, 
Chain Capital, it seems like you can only do a two of three multi-sig. I'm not sure if they have plans to expand this in the future, but right now it seems like that's the only offering. Casa's gold plan with a two of three multi-sig where you're using the mobile wallet seems kind of goofy to me. So I'm really glad that they have an option for you there to use two hardware wallets and then that one key that's held by Casa. Casa's gold plan really seems the most similar to me to the Unchained Capital offering. They're both two of three multi-sigs. It's just that over here on Unchained Capital, you're getting it mostly for free. And then over here on Casa, you're paying that $120 a year and you don't get that video verification service on gold. So it seems like a sort of tie in terms of security, just depending on what you wanna prioritize for. If you wanna prioritize for bigger multi-sig three of five, you're gonna wanna go with Casa. And then if you wanna prioritize for getting that video verification service with the two of three multi-sig, you're gonna wanna go with Unchained Capital. Next is cost. And I think this is where you're gonna see the biggest difference. Unchained Capital's model of making money is they're only making money when you have to use their key to sign a transaction, right? So you're paying that $20 anytime that you have to use their key, but if you keep your own keys and you never use their key to sign a transaction, you're actually not paying them at all. Casa's model is subscription-based. With the gold plan, it's only $120 a year, which is you know not that much money, but obviously with the platinum and the diamond plans, charging you $1,800 or $5,000 a year gets a little bit more expensive. And if you think about it this way, it would actually take you 90 signed transactions from Unchained Capital just to equal the platinum plan from Casa. And then same logic again, if you use six signed transactions from Unchained Capital, you're gonna equal the Casa gold plan. And like we talked about from a security perspective, the Unchained Capital base plan is sort of somewhere in the middle between the Casa gold plan and the Casa platinum plan. The Casa gold plan is not as secure as Unchained Capital. And then the Casa platinum plan is more secure than Unchained Capital because it's giving you that three of five multi-sig. But the gold plan is actually worse because it doesn't have the video verification. You really should shouldn't need Unchained Capital's key to sign for you six times a year. You should be able to just do all the signing with your hardware wallets, and you certainly shouldn't need them to sign for you 90 times a year. So Unchained Capital is the clear winner when it comes to cost. And then finally is services. Unchained Capital has lending services, which is really cool and is probably how they're able to offer you this multi-sig stuff for free or basically very reduced costs over CASA. But to be honest, I don't really care too much about lending services. If I was going to need lending services, I could always go to a third party like HODL HODL and do the lending there. So it doesn't really bother me that much that CASA doesn't offer lending. Both CASA and Unchained Capital are implementing family planning services too, which is really great because I want my family to be able to figure out my complex Bitcoin setup after I die. I want that experience for them to be very easy. Additionally, Unchained Capital doesn't have a mobile app. On the other hand, Casa does have a mobile app and the user experience of that mobile app is excellent. Definitely one of the best user experiences of any Bitcoin or crypto company that I've seen. Unchained Capital is really easy to set up. They have tons of videos to make it super easy for you to do, but I personally don't want to have to log into a browser every time that I need to tinker with my multi-sig setup. So I think just because of ease of use of the mobile app, I see that as like a really core piece of functionality of this whole multi-sig thing, just being able to take this with you on the go and manage your funds from wherever. I think Casa wins from the services and ease of use perspective. So if you were keeping score there, it's actually sort of a tie. On the security front, Unchained Capital sort of sits between gold and platinum of the Casa services, which actually have a pretty big, meaningful price discrepancy, right? The gold service is $120, the platinum service is $1,800 a year. If you extrapolate that over the number of years that you expect to live, you can do an easy calculation there of how much money you'd be spending on these Casa services versus how much money you would actually save by just using Unchained Capital. I think the number of times that you'll have to pay Unchained Capital anything, including that $20 fee, should be so minimal. And so if you are really price sensitive, I think it makes a ton of sense to go with Unchained Capital. The dirty secret to these videos is that I actually just make them so that I can synthesize my own thoughts and determine what's actually best for me. And so before I had done any of this research, I was thinking it doesn't make any sense to be spending all of this money on Casa's solution. And I was pretty sold on going with Unchained capital. I really, really want that video verification service to protect me from phishing attempts, basically. And I just think that spending $1,800 a year on Bitcoin security is like, all right, I get it. You're securing your Bitcoin and that's important. And it's important to secure large amounts of money, but there are so many free options, right? Unchained Capital is going to, for free, basically, do almost the exact same thing that Casa is doing. And then if you wanted to get even more free and arguably more secure, you could actually set up your own multi-sig 
using a full node and something like Spectre, which I'll have a video up in the cards here. If the video is not up already, it'll be up next week of how to set up a multi-sig on your own full node and what else you could do with a full node. So check that out if you're interested in a separate multi-sig solution. But when I went through Casa's offerings and I saw that you could get that two of three multi-sig with the hardware wallets, I thought that was really big. I think using the mobile wallet, it just doesn't seem as secure. I don't really wanna mess with the mobile wallet on a two of three, especially when you're already giving that other key to Casa. It would really make me uncomfortable to give them sort of two keys. One, the mobile key is like, they're kind of involved in that and then they're really involved in that third key. It makes me a lot more comfortable to use two hardware wallets. But then gold, I think really bothers me because it doesn't have that video verification service. And so then I saw that $1,800 on the Platinum and I really don't wanna pay the $1,800, but the more I look into it, the more I think that it's actually a really good option. And so the truth is I'm really conflicted about this, but I think I am gonna go with that Casa Platinum service. Just because of the ease of use, you get the three of five multi-sig, you get the video auditing set up, and it is a lot of money, but it seems just a little bit more foolproof than the two of three setup on Unchained Capital. I might totally regret this a year from now and just wish that I had $1,800 to just put into Bitcoin, but I guess we'll see. The other really big difference I think is the mobile app. The experience just really seems a lot better over at Casa. And you might be thinking, Rhett, that's a stupid reason to spend $1,800. And you might be right. The financial independence retire early side of me is saying, what the f are you doing, Rhett? That $1,800 a year is basically gonna wipe out your BlockFi interest, which is a totally fair point. So I think I'm gonna do Casa Platinum. Really, really tough decision though here. I'm very conflicted. Let me know down in the comments, how are you handling multi-sig? Are you going for Casa with the increased security at a higher price? Are you going for Unchained Capital? Really great security basically for free? Or do you not trust institutions whatsoever? And so you're gonna go watch my video about setting up multi-sig on a full node and run everything yourself. Comment down below and let me know. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. And then also leave a comment if anything I said during this video was confusing at all to you. I do respond to all the comments. Like the video if you learned something and subscribe for more tech money and success videos every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. I love you all. <laughs> Goodbye.